we're going to be demonstrating and presenting the new ortho module in the Blue Sky Plan software. You should see a screen similar to the one that you see in the video now. If you don't, click on module and switch to orthodontics. Loading a case, you go to file menu, new project, and select the option to import an STL file. Navigate to the location in your computer for the relevant model. We're going to load the lower model here and press OK. And we can go ahead right away and import the opposing arch by clicking the import opposing arch button. Throughout the ortho setup we could hide or show the opposing arch by clicking the show button to hide or show it. At this point we select the relevant draw type and we rotate the model by clicking our left mouse button and grabbing and dragging to orient the arch relatively in the same positioning as the diagram that we have here. We call at this point of time go ahead and name the case and press continue to draw alignment. We're going to proceed by marking the teeth. So now we're rotating the model by holding down the left mouse button and, and, and uh, rotating the model. To mark the teeth, we go ahead and hold down the shift key and left click. And you want to place two dots on each tooth on the buckle side, corners of the teeth. And you're going to go ahead around the arch and do this for all the teeth. Okay, you want to start on the right side of the arch. After you've marked the right side, you click go to the left side and you continue marking the left side. Once the teeth are marked, we click finish teeth marking and we can go ahead and we can add a base to the model by clicking close model. Okay, so now we've marked the corners of the teeth. We have our base added. We click continue to teeth segmentation. The software provides an initial segmentation. Clicking on a tooth with your left mouse button makes it active and either the dots can be grabbed and dragged with the left mouse button to be manipulated or simply activate the tooth and then hold down the shift key while you left drag to redraw the curve and we're going to go around the arch and do this for all the teeth there are teeth that we're not going to be moving that we want to stay static we can right click on the tooth and you can see how the tooth becomes deactivated go ahead on to moving the teeth the software takes us to the next step and we have a curve, an initial placement of a curve running above the teeth. For initial modification we could simply hit snap all on the snap to curve section and we see how the software aligns the teeth to the curve. If we want to slightly modify the position of the curve we could just grab and drag with our left mouse button any of the nodes or the circles and re-snap again. Okay, what appears on the screen are the IPR values. If we want to hide those, we could simply click hide IPR or we could keep them active on the screen. If we want to fine tune the placement and manipulate the teeth on our own, just go ahead and click on one of the teeth and we have the widget that shows up on the screen and allows you to rotate the tooth and move it in any direction. If you like to hide the widget, just go ahead and left click on one of those inactive teeth and the widget will disappear giving you better access to the curve. For any given tooth when it's clicked upon you could see the statistics about how much the tooth was moved and in which direction. You also have the option of manipulating the tooth based on the tip or based on the torque. Now the software is going to be creating the model incremental model steps for the liners and here you could select if you want the steps to be based on monthly, bi-weekly or weekly calculations and the software will adjust automatically. We've also added in the ability to add a virtual tooth for the active tooth. So when you click this you could see a virtual tooth is being placed close to the tooth and you could use the widget to fine tune the placement. What this does is it allows us to rotate the teeth and while we rotate and reposition the tooth 
we see how it affects the approximate root's position. And of course we're able to turn on once again the opposing arch by pressing the show button. I've activated the collisions checkbox and we could see the color on the teeth going from blue to green to yellow to orange and of course to red if there is a direct collision. So that's providing us a color visualization of the proximity of the teeth. Once we're happy with the tooth positioning, we go ahead and click continue to edit steps. And here once again, we have the ability to show the opposing arch, to show or hide the IPR values, and the slider here will show us the tooth movement as we progress through the relevant steps. So here's the initial positioning, and now we're running through the relevant steps. The first column that appears here, called Start Step, allows us to indicate for any given tooth that we click on, what should be the start step for that particular tooth. So now we're looking at tooth LR1. It's starting in step two. If we want to change it, we could just go ahead and click on the relevant step. What we could also do is if we want to force the tooth to move at a particular step, we go ahead and we add X marks to the checkboxes. And for tooth LR1, we're forcing it to move at steps three, four, or five. Now, once we make these changes, this might affect the calculations that the software does to create the intermediary models. So we go ahead and click the Refresh Steps button. The Step Details button will show us for any given step that we click on what the tooth movement is for each of the relevant teeth. We can now go ahead and indicate to the software if we're going to be adding button attachments to the case and if we're going to be designing aligners directly in the software. So currently, I don't believe yet that there's printing material that could be used to print aligners directly, but we're getting closer. As soon as there is relevant material, then we have the software already with that functionality inside of it. So we're going to click ortho buttons. We won't get into designing aligners yet. Let's click ortho buttons and continue to add buttons. Adding a button is as simple as right clicking on the relevant tooth and clicking add button. We can then choose the type of button attachment that we want to add, small, medium, or large, and click add. It then appears on the tooth. If we mouse over, if we move the mouse to the button, we have a widget showing up and we could fine tune the positioning of the button as we like. If we want to place another button, we could either press the duplicate button and then click on the next relevant tooth, or we could just click on a tooth and click add button to add a new button, or add previous button again to add the same shape and size to the relevant tooth. Removing a button, of course, is just clicking on remove. Again, you right click on the button and you click remove. So now we've positioned the teeth, we've added the buttons, we're up to exporting the models. We go ahead and click on continue to export models. So we're able to use the slider to see all of the different models that the software is going to export for us, which then could be used to create aligners. We're going to choose the option of exporting the models, and we want to export the models with buttons on them. Before we go ahead and click the export button, we're going to add a label. And we could change the label to any text that we want, and the software numbers the models accordingly. Now in order to position the label, we use our mouse to rotate, the left mouse button to rotate, and the right mouse button to zoom in and out to position the label how we want. We could also use the options here to rotate the models. Once we have the proper positioning, we go ahead and press the apply button. The software has applied the label to the model and again as we run through the steps we could see that the patient's name is there and the step number there is being embossed directly onto the model. Once we're done, we could press the export button. 
we navigate to the location where we want to save it we're going to put it into this test folder and press select folder we could see that the software has exported all of our different models if we had designed the liners as well then for each step we would have the model and the liner appearing here in our export folder if we press the create report button the software automatically creates a report for the case it asks where we want to save it let's go ahead and put it in the same folder as our models the report shows us the IPR values and the movements of each tooth at any given stage.